In this video, we're going to go over how to add a person, an individual person, to an, a sequence or a campaign. So I'm going to start by just finding a person that we can use. Now you can see it's going to show me I have three different people. So if I leave this checkbox on, I'm going to get all three of them, and any actions that I take from the action tab are going to apply to all of them. If I were just looking for one of the people or two of them, I would just uncheck the check all box and then choose the one I want. Now I'm going to go up here and click on actions and say start stop a campaign sequence. It's going to ask me if I want to start or stop, and which campaign I want to use, so I will choose this one. And then which step within that campaign do I want to have this person start in. So, as you can see, there's a whole lot of choices, um, and I'll just go ahead and pick um, this one. So now when I hit Process Action, it's going to start that person at that particular step of the campaign. So I can go back over to, well, actually we'll use, if you hold your mouse over this little, looks like a clock, it's actually your, your list of recent items. And so from there I can find I can usually find myself, but it's not showing me, so I'm going to go back over to Contacts. And actually, I'll just go ahead and click right up here and type it in again. By going back, we can actually look at the account itself and see where that person exists within the campaign. Um, within each campaign, you usually have multiple steps. So we can just go right back into click on my name. Just to, to double check and see that what we wanted to have accomplished actually happened. So we'll go ahead and scroll down and click on campaigns down here under campaigns now we can see all the things that have happened in the recent history and then everything that's upcoming so you can see scroll for me. The item that I chose was check check for order. So here it is. It actually only had one task in that particular piece of the campaign. So it's already happened in the time since I chose it and moved uh, moved back over to check the record. It shows up right under the recent campaign as check for order. So you can see a lot of different things have happened to my record. And then under upcoming, any other campaigns that I'm a part of are showing when and what will happen. Uh, any of these I could then hit cancel or go ahead and apply to make them happen now. And that's pretty much how you manage a person in a campaign.